Hey guys, Coach Paul here with Scenic Team Strength and Fitness bringing you another kettlebell training tip. Uh, today we're going to talk about how you can kind of use your environment to your advantage to help fix some inefficiencies or flaws you may have in your technique. Uh, there's a bunch of ways you can do this. I'm probably going to spend the next couple weeks going over one in each little post, so be sure to stay tuned to this little series we're doing. So uh, one, we're going to take a look at the kettlebell press today and how you can use just a simple wall to help kind of clean up your press groove, uh, tighten up any inefficiencies, and it, in the long run, make your press a lot stronger and safer. So one of the common problems in a kettlebell press, people get set up in the press, and the first thing they'll do from here is flare the elbow out. That puts the shoulder in a position that's not going to really help us press a whole lot stronger and could lead to some shoulder health issues down the road. So that's something we want to really stop and not do. So a lot of times people think about trying to fix things, they'll think about what their muscle needs to do, they really think about what's going on inside the shoulder. Um, that's not as effective, just having a little bit simpler key and something to stop that from happening. That's where the wall comes in. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get set up in my press position, just close to the wall. So here, the second I flare out, I know it. I know it's not what I want to. It's not what I want to do. So, super simple. Pick the kettlebell up. Good setup. Clean it up tight. I'm going to get as close to the wall as possible. Then I'm going to press. Pull it down, staying in that press curve. So if I start to flare out, I'll feel it and know it's not what I want to do. So, staying close to the wall, walking as close as you possibly can, make sure that forearm's vertical, and press, stay up, straight up. That'll help you stay in your press groove. You'll feel when you start losing it and getting a little bit inefficient, and it's something you don't have to think about. It just kind of happens. So, uh, use the wall, use the environment to your advantage. A way I would go about setting up this pressure, I'd maybe do this for movement prep on sessions before I have some heavy presses coming up. So I go a little bit lighter, really focusing on dialing in and refining my technique. That way when it comes time to press heavy bells, I'm warmed up, my movement's primed, and I'm ready to go. Give it a shot. Let us know what you think. Thanks, guys.